What's up, fellas? It's your boy Marky with Eclipse Lanka here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas, guys. How's everybody doing, man? Hopefully, you guys have had an awesome and productive week this week, and you guys have a happy Labor Day weekend as well. You guys are going to be cooking out and fight your boy. I love barbecue, you guys. Just playing. You don't have to invite me. Before we get started with this uh, story, this vlog, I want to invite you guys to go check out Kevin over at Texas Veteran. Go check out his YouTube channel. Kevin is raffling a steel trimmer, which he will be announcing the winner and drawing the winner Monday. Tickets are $20 a piece. The proceeds are going to go towards his wife, his wife's cancer treatment. I personally know that cancer treatment does cost a lot of money it's a lot of time a lot of pain my uncle passed away from cancer a few years ago and he was he actually worked for uh, the Dallas Police Department and he passed away due to cancer my grandpa passed away due to cancer my I have an aunt who's been getting treatment over in Houston as well for leukemia so this this is uh, near and dear to me, and to hear another fellow uh, lawn care uh, friend, you know, going kind of going through the same thing that I went through. You know, I think we need to be there for him, and let's just support him, guys. Go over there, purchase a ticket. I believe you still have time. Not too sure when the deadline is, but I think it'll probably be going all the way up to Monday. Go check out his channel. It's Texas Veteran. All right, guys. Well, a couple of hours ago, I was over at a, I was mowing the lawn. I was on baby cakes, treating her right, treating her good, riding her okay. And uh, you know, I was just boom. I was right there just mowing, 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 mowing making my diagonal stripes, doing my diamond stripes, then I'll come back and forth, right? Jamming out to, uh, I was actually jamming out to, uh, when I wasn't jamming out, I was listening to Keith Calfridge, right? One of his, uh, one of his videos, so I was just kind of listening to him. I was in La La Land, right, with Keith. And then, uh, I just heard, bow, boom, you know? I was like, what the heck? And I just saw debris flying everywhere. I saw this flying this way, this flying that way. I was like, no, what the heck? My zero turn did this. And I was, what the heck? And then all I heard was, no, no. Like real ugly voice, right? I was like, Keith, is this you, boy? I took off my headphones, and I turned around, and it was a, it was a customer. To make a long story short, I ran over his sewer clean-out cap. Boy, I made the biggest mess ever on the lawn with that cap. It was a four-inch cap, four-inch adapter. I blew it up to Kingdom Come. I don't know. I don't know if I hit him, but he came out pissed off. Like ugly, ugly boy. He was pissed off. Goes, why did you run over? I saw you. Yeah. I was in shock because I thought, okay, I must. I thought maybe I ran over him, ran over his foot, ran over his dog, ran over poop and splashed it on him. I don't know. I was like, he was like, what are you doing, Mark? Mark, you didn't watch him. Like, boy, I'm about to do an exorcism right here, right now in your front lawn, boy. And then I was like, because I, I was still like trying to figure out what did I run over at this point, right? I'm like this, took my hat off, took my glasses off, looking around. And then, of course, I noticed it was just the, uh, it was a sewer, sewer cap, the adapter, right? I don't know. I think he was just in a bad mood. So... Usually, my first reaction is, okay, well, let's 
settle down. And he kept on ugly voice. I'm like, dude, you either need to stop smoking, sir, or you need to get yourself in a heavy metal band because you got an awesome voice if that's the way you sound. You know, or go do some horror movies or something. Like you're good at you're good, bro. Don't be pissed, don't be mad at me. It's just the sewer cat. That's all it is, Bubba. So I had to calm him down like that. And he goes, I know, I'm sorry, I just, this is the second time you broke something. Like, it happened, sir. Because uh, about four weeks, about a month ago, we broke one of his pop-up sprinkler heads. But we replaced it, right? We replaced them I mean, and easy, simple, right? No biggie. He was like, oh, I'm just pissed off that everybody that comes, it don't matter if it's used, they're always breaking. I was like, sir, here's the thing. I have insurance. If I break your window, your house window, it's gonna get paid for. If I break, if I mess up your car or sling a, a rock, I have insurance. I'm like, you don't have to worry about, about my company. Maybe the previous companies you had didn't have insurance. Maybe they broke windows, broke this and that or whatever, and they didn't pay for it, they left you high and dry. I'm not gonna do that. What happened, and I, you know, I explained, look, I still replaced your your sprinkler head when it, when it broke it. I'm gonna do the same thing for this, okay? I was like, let me just finish up. I got a couple of other things I got to do and I'll be back later this afternoon. And we'll repair this, this sewer cap, this clean out cap. Okay, well, I just want to make, make sure you're gonna repair it. I'm like, sir, I got you, man, I got you. You know, so he was just like, okay. Then he goes, he goes back inside, like stomping and stuff. Then his chanclas fall off. <laughs> that was kind of funny because he was, oh, he was wearing like you know, some little, what do you call it? like jorts? Jorts? I know it's hot. It's 105 degrees, but you know, like I wanted to say, sir, don't be wearing shorts, shorts like that, dude. I know it's hot. So he was wearing some cutoff jeans, real short cutoff jeans. I want to say they were Daisy Dukes. And then you can see like where he cut them in the little stream, you know, he had like, I don't know what do you call them, the fray things. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Dude, we got it. I'll take care of you, Bubba. He goes, all right, all right, I, I trust you, I trust you. I'm like, good, I'm glad you trust me. So he went back, went back inside. He was all pissed off. He lost his sandals on his way and I was like, Sarah, pick up your sandals before I run over them. Chop those up and then we're gonna start, you're gonna start back again with your heavy metal voice. Lord knows I don't wanna hear that. So it was cool, it was all good. It happens, fellas, it happens. You're gonna break stuff, you're gonna run over stuff, you're gonna break windows, you're gonna break, whatever, right? It happens, just don't let your customers break your spirit fellas i know customers will come at you sideways long ways short ways whatever you get my drift you can't let them get into your mind you can't let them make you feel bad i mean you probably will feel bad but don't let them uh don't let don't let it bring you down guys this is your business. As long as you can deliver and fix whatever whatever you broke, own up to it. Own up to it, right? It happens. But that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I'll uh, have some footage here in a bit with me repairing it and kind of give you a uh, just a before and after look of what I was dealing with. But y'all go, y'all guys go out there and check out Texas Veteran. Go check out his YouTube channel. If you can't buy a ticket, at least uh, show some love on his comments. All right, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go. Peace out. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what I destroyed. I destroyed this uh, sewer clean out. I don't know if you, if you get a view of that, but uh, yeah, I was using the zero turn earlier today and I, I ran over it and I pretty much disintegrated the whole shebang, man. I, so 
so I went ahead and got a this is a four inch uh, female adapter plus the, uh, the plug or the cap right so we're gonna go ahead and install or repair it as fast as we can so we got our we got a primer then we got our uh, PVC cement which uh, this is it right here we're using this brand for the cement and for the primer we're using that so let's go ahead and uh, let's get started let me uh, turn the camera the other way and we'll see we'll see what kind of footage we can get okay so there it is hopefully I don't drop my phone in there because then that would be really bad so just making sure there's no big pieces in there which there isn't and it's a good thing they got this uh, I forget what you call it but anyways that way we don't have to dig around or anything and uh, this fits nicely in place we did uh, a couple of weeks ago had to repair one of the sprinkler heads right there in the middle that uh, we ran over but now we gotta now we gotta repair this baby so let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put the camera down primer this baby up and cement it and put it back together all right went ahead and uh, primered the uh, inside and also the outside of this pipe as this adapter is gonna fit on the outside so let's go ahead and put the cement we're ready to rock and roll all right got that set looks, uh, looks pretty good from here so let's go ahead and put the uh, plug back on screw it on like so That's it. That's it. That's the way you do it.